Now, the thing is, these books have been retranslated. They're not in our like native language because you got to understand the Bible is black history. Now, everything that about black people, what do white people do to it? They whitewash it. So what do you think they did to our Bible since the beginning of time? They whitewashed it. They hid our history from us and then they sold it back to us. That's all they do. They take it from us and they sell it back to us. So somebody in the comments said there is no heaven or hell. I kind of agree with that in a sense because I feel like heaven and hell is a state of mind. I no, think it's, that's, it's like a metaphor. It's both. It's both. I want to say it's a double entendre. It's a reality-based double entendre. And what I mean by that, it is a state of mind. It's a state of being because you could pick happiness or you could pick sadness. But at the same time, it's a real place where you go in the end. Because, like, you know how everybody like to say, I hate Drake for this shit. A lot of people like to say YOLO. A lot of people look, a lot of people like to say you only live once. That is a false statement. You live twice. This is your first life. Your second life is defined what you do next. By what you do in this life is going to define your next life. Your next life, it tells you you live in the eternal lake of fire forever in the lake of fire, or you can live peacefully on earth again. A lot of people tend to see revelations as the end. Revelations is really a new beginning. He's going to kill off the evil so that the good, the peaceful can live here and thrive and they can create youth, whether you black, oh, white, Hispanic, or whatever. If if God is supposed to be loving, why like permanently like because eternity is a long ass that's forever. So like why punish people for eternity? Like I understand there's a difference between before. there's a difference between um like so good and evil. Evil means no remorse, but good does not mean without flaw. So people no, make mistakes, you. people make flaws. So why would somebody who makes a mistake have to be punished for eternity? Because we've been here. This ain't our first trip. This ain't our first go around. We just like, you know, barely coming back into the conscious state of being of what's going on. And that's why we're asking questions and holding conversations as such. Re repeat that. Repeat that. C come, so start slow. I'm going to get in deep. I'm going to get in deep. Let's start like this. Have you ever noticed anything peculiar about the Paramount logo and why they chose that logo in that mountain in particular? No. Elaborate. So Paramount, it also is short for Paranormal Mountain. Now, we know what paranormal means. Now, yeah, super not good. just that. Paramount is actually based on a real mountain called Mount Hermon or yeah, Hermon, which is in Jerusalem. So this mountain is supposed to be the mountain where the fallen angels took their covenant to go against the most high, their creator, the father of all or the mother of all. They decided to go against them. Right. And what they did on that mountain, they said, we're going to take human wives and we're going to have children with them. There is still a, oh, it's a hieroglyph up there on that mountain, right? Where these fallen angels took that oath. It's still there to this day. Now, not only that, guess what else is on that mountain? Guess what they built up there? What? The United Nations headquarters. Now, check this out. Guess how many fallen angels fell in the Book of Giants and in the Book of Enoch? Was it seven? It names 22. That's why there's 22 <laughs> stars surrounding the Paramount logo. It names 22 in the Book of Enoch. But 200 failed. Over? But 200 failed. Okay, 200. But, it, but the Book of Enoch specifically named 22. 22. Mm. By name. Now, here's that the craziest crazy. shit. Here's the craziest shit about this. If you put like those two stories, the Book of Enoch, Genesis, Giants, and uh, Jubilees, you, you combine all those stories together, and then you read Greek mythology. Greek mythology is telling you everything from the fallen angel perspective. It's telling you from the perspective of Zeus and all them. So anytime you get a mythology, is telling you from the uh, like how do you say the uh, how do you say the fallen angel perspective. When you read the Bible, it's kind of like summing it up in a whole, but it's converting it into a language with, which we can understand. Like a lot of people don't know that the Marvel's movies, they're all biblical stories. That's why Thor pops up in that shit. Yes, Thor, Thor is yes, a, because 
that's Norse a, mythology. Yeah. So now you see what I'm saying? It's all connected. Yo, Stan Lee even invented a character that's supposed to be God. Did you know that there's a there's a character in Marvel who is God? What character would that be? Who, I'm trying to think. He's, I watch Marvel. Creator of all. He calls him the creator of all. You can look it up on Big Comic Book Nerd. Oh wait, wait. Are you talking about like Eternals type shit? No, he he's greater than the Eternals. He created them. He oh. is God. He is the God of the Marvel Universe. Damn. This shit is deep. Okay, I, I need to go back. I need to rewind for a second because... Like, that's right, how they so got Black so Panther. Shit. They stole that shit. That shit is real history. That's how they got Black Panther. That shit is real history. Listen, a few what, what months ago, a few months ago, I was telling my, uh, my uh, brother and cousins, I'm like, yo, I'm like, they running out of ideas for real. I'm like, most of these movies they coming out with is Remake. my biblical base and, and and you know and they put their little twist to it. Thank you, but thank you. The only we, newest shit they gave us, look, I'm gonna be honest. The newest shit that they gave us, the Book of Clarence, because Clarence oh. is not mentioned <laughs> in the Bible. Clarence is not yes. mentioned but one time, and they don't mention him by name. They just say Thomas had a twin brother. That's all we know is that he had a twin brother. But what they did, they gave you his twin brother's side of scripture within a movie. But I need oh to rewind gosh. to what you were saying about the United Nations. So what does the United Nations presently, like what agenda or so whatever? Let me tell you, let me tell you okay. about this. So here's the crazy part about the United Nations being located on the mountain where the fallen angels reside. Mm -hmm. Remember how I said it was 200 fallen angels that fell? Guess how many seats they got up there in the United Nations? 22? 200. 200. Oh, they got 200. <laughs> Yo, what made you say 22? I said 22 because he said the Book of Enoch named 22 uh, fallen angels. Hey, yo, well, here's the crazy think, part. Uh, you know, 22 you know the, uh, of those angels, four of them were locked away. Four of them were actually locked away under the Euphrates River. Now, here's the crazy part. This is a 2,000 year old prophecy that has been fulfilled. Now, if you go in the Bible and read those passages on what's supposed to happen when those angels are set free, it's terrifying. Now, here's where it gets even crazier. So not only did I say like, you know, it's 200 fallen angels, right? What did Zeus and his gods, his brethren of gods, what did they reside on? If you watch Hercules and you think back to the movie Hercules, where did they live? Wasn't it a cloud? Was it a cloud? Mount Olympus, Mount Olympus, Mount Olympus, Mount Olympus right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get the connection. Mount Hermon, Mount Olympus, fallen angels, these gods, these deities, they are the same. They just took the culture and that's how they seen it. Like, here's the thing. My favorite story in the Bible is this one. Do you know the one about the Tower of Babel within Genesis? Yes, the Tower of Babel, when all the people came together to build the tower because they were a unified civilization, and I guess God didn't like that, yes. so he... No, 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 no. What does that mean? What does that mean by them being a unified civilization? That means they had one belief. One language. That means, yep, and one currency, one form of money, right? Oh! Hold on, I gotta mute somebody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So you trying to say that they're trying to get back to that point because they're trying to yes. do this new world order and get back to yes. like the Tower of Babel? Oh, yes. shit. So here, here, that's why they say America is incident. modern day Babylon. Look, it mentions America in the Bible. It calls it oh, Mystery God. Babylon. Mystery Babylon is America. I never put two and two together. You just connected Think about, something. This. Think about this. Think about what you just said. Think about what you just said. That nation that you just mentioned back in the day in the Bible, Babel, right? They had yeah. one belief. It was everybody around the world believing in one thing, worshiping one man, dealing with one form of money. Now, look at what's going on today in America. America, they bring everybody over here from different countries to be one. That's their goal, to be one. Mm -hmm. They're going to take it worldwide. This is Babylon. Fuck. That is crazy. So, I never thought about it like that. So no, no, in my no, no, head, no, no. No. You, you remember that scripture, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the son of man? What happened in the days of Noah? He was trying to warn them of what was going to happen 
right? He was trying to warn them of the flood and they did not listen. So think about what's going to happen now. There are people out here like us talking about this, trying to warn people. They're not listening, so they're not going to be saved. You know, the rapture or what they call the rapture happened more than once. There was a time in when Jesus or the one called Yahshua, he was crucified, right? He was crucified. He was dead. Read this, right? Nobody know where he went. They read the Apocrypha. If you read the Apocrypha, he went to hell to resurrect everybody who died in Genesis so that they could be reborn. That's why I say we've been here before. We're just, we're just it again. Like a loop. Oh, I know. Wait, I know. so you trying to say, wait, you trying to say, hold up, hold up, hold up. You trying to say trying that to the say people that, that, that remember, people how remember how things used to be, why is this echoing? Is it? Hold up. We are the ones oh that God. are resurrected. So you can get it right. So you can get it right. So you can spread the knowledge and get it right this time. Let me let me let me let me put a lot in the sense. Hold on, y'all. Hey, I'm gonna. Right? This shit is is echoing right now. I'm saying end it and then redo it. Listen to what the uh, New World Order's how do you say agenda is? They want to like keep the population at a certain amount. So what that means, they want people to stop having kids. They're trying to make everybody sterile. That's why they feed us this food, this poison that they feed us, because they know it's going to make black people sterile over time. They're not having kids at the rate black people do. Black people also have the highest abortion rate. So you got to take in the abortion rate, too, and how black people basically don't want those kids and kids, you know, just die. They get murdered. So if those kids were to be birthed and stuff like that, we'd have way more populated, like we'd have a way more populated society. Now, because of those statistics and all that stuff, like that's playing part in everything that's happening, what I'm saying is we basically are like, how do you say, gonna like, over time, we're gonna like, how do you say, just like stop making kids. Black people are gonna like not make kids anymore. They wanna get it to this point just so that they could control us. They can re-enslave us, but mentally through finances. They want to use money. That's why they're trying to get it digital. That's why they're trying to use technology. This same thing was done during the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel was one of the most technological societies you could ever, like, you know, dream to, like, live around. Now, not only that, it was just being misused. That's why God didn't like it. It wasn't the fact that they were smart. It's the fact that their leader was misusing it basically to his own benefit to be worshipped and you should not put nobody before the creator of all now my thing Sorry, like, my I, got a question for you real quick. I got a question for you real quick so when you mentioned the creator of all and like you said the bible has been translated numerous times so when i go to the old translation when it says elohim is plural that means more than one god where in the Bible is it actually talking about the creator God versus the Elohim? I'm going to tell you the truth. They are not going to show you that. It hides it. They're going to show you from the point when they created you in which they want you to know what happened. They want you to know how they played part in your life. How do you say your, your demise as a, how do you say, a God? So, like I said, if you read like the first part of Genesis chapter 1 through 3, it tells you right there that we are made in his image and that Satan tried to trick us and say that you are not perfect. You can be like God if you bite from the tree, right? If you take that fruit, he said you will be like God. He lied to us because God had already made us like him. We are made in his image. Now, with that being said, that is him tampering with our DNA. He was tampering with our frequency. A lot of people don't know that whoever Satan is, he was the first person to lay with a mortal woman, which was Eve, or a godly woman, which was Eve. Now, when I say this, you can catch this in Genesis 3.15. Satan was the first person to give birth to a Nephilim. Cain was a Nephilim. I mean, yeah, Cain was a Nephilim. So Eve actually produced through him and gave birth to a Nephilim. That's what I meant to say. So basically what I'm saying is when you read about Cain's whole lineage, he was mm, not human. They are evil. They are, his lineage is actually the uh the, the Canaanites, right? 
Yeah, he has a team. They are serpents. Mm-hmm. They are not really like, how do you say? They are not really of God. They are not really of the Jew bloodline. And they keep mm-hmm. trying to get back in. A lot of these people, they look black like us, but they are not black. They are not the same. They yeah. have reptilian in their DNA. I'm serious. Like all skin folk ain't kin folk. Now they I got a question for you. I seen an article that said. I seen an article that said in the future that well, basically they showed a AI depiction of what the human is going to look like in the future, and it was a mixed person. So what is right that here. about? Right here, we're here. They clone Tyrone. Watch that movie mm-hmm. on Netflix. It showed you what they did to us. They did this to us. They took our pigment. They took our melanin. They stripped yeah. us. They doing it to you. You should be darker than you are. The reason we have freckles, that's supposed to be our original skin pigment. Mm. Mm. I ain't never heard that. They whitewash mm. everything. They so, whitewash everything. Everything is black history. We are history. We are the like, you know, language of the earth. We are the vibration. We are the frequency. That's why they copy us. That's why they want to be like us. Because see, here's the craziest shit. When you read the book of Enoch, it tells you that Jesus, the one they call Yahshua, he existed way before he was born. It tells you that he was going to be born in the book of Enoch. Enoch knew he was going to be born before he was going to be born. So Mm -hmm. if that is true and he was in heaven and he was an angel that, you know, came down and he manifested as a godly man, that is some crazy shit. That's what it really states. Now, here's the craziest part about it. Mormons, guess what they believe about Satan and, you know, Yahshua? Guess what they believe about Satan and Yahshua? What? They're brothers. Huh? Yeah. So think about it. If the Messiah is a son of the creator of all and Satan is the son of the creator of all, they're brothers. Absolutely. Uh. One's just good, one's just bad. It's a sibling rivalry for their father's repentance. Satan is just a, a rebellious motherfucker. He refused. And then, uh, uh, also, he wanted to, if be, you he wanted to be, he wanted to be his father. Thank you, thank you. And look, if you read Revelation fourteen, the father's a black man, right? So if the father's a black man and Yahshua is a black man, what does that make Satan? Satan, a dark motherfucker. <laughs> you want to know how white people pigment came to be? Because when Satan fell from heaven, he lost his melanin. Mm-hmm. Over time here, he lost his melanin. He became white. He mixed with those people. That's what I'm saying. He tried mixing with Eve. That's how Cain was created. Cain was actually the first person in my complexion. Oh, and wow. You, and you got to look. They did. They they did that. Sim, uh, uh, they did that with Michael Jackson. You gotta so, know that. So was they did that God with Michael that, Jackson. So was it God? So was it God that really told Cain to kill Abel? Wait, what you mean, Michael Jackson? What you mean, Michael you, Jackson? Did, Michael Jackson. If if Satan <laughs> lost his pigment and mixed with Eve, because anything tainted. Mixed with pure, become pure again. Pure, but, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but that's 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 just scientific, right? What would you say about Michael Jackson? What about him? Michael Jackson was an agent. They Michael Jackson was placed to to be who he was to be. But the symbology with him turning from a black man to a white man that was a symbology of what Satan was. Hmm. Thank For you. Sure. Look at what they're doing. All this just, I, Look at Sammy Sosa. Sosa. Look at all the celebrities. Beyonce got lighter. Beyonce used to be way darker than she is. Mm-hmm. And you got to know, look, look. Michael Jackson ruled the fucking world. He ruled the world. And nobody's going to be ever. Nope. Nobody ever is going to be bigger than him. He's the biggest. All he had to do was stand there. Ever. People was passing out. People was passing out. He passing, just stood there. Passing the fuck out. <laughs> I want that type of love. Even, Shit. even, go, like he could, he could go when, when America was on his ass about, uh, about that Sony shit. The British, I think it was the British. Somebody, one of the governments, they hid Michael Jackson for a good time, good amount of time. Look up Credo Mutua. 
There's a video on this guy named Credo Mutua. I'll send you his name. YouTube it and type in Reptilian Agenda. He's from Africa. He's from a tribe called Zulu. They believe that these creatures, the fallen angels, listen to how his story plays out. Each each person tell it different. Each mythology tell it different. So his shit sound like Dragon Ball Z. That's the best way I could describe it. You got these fucking giant space pods. They're, they look like spheres. They look like round gold spheres. They're solid gold. They're oh, wait, are you talking than, about the Dogon tribe? No, no, Zulu. Zulu. The same Zulu. tribe from Shaka. Like, you know how they say Shaka Zulu? Shaka Zulu, yeah. the uh. Yeah. yeah. So basically, okay, so the spheres came down. The, the spheres come down, they're bigger than mountains. They crash land. These fucking, how do you say, 17 foot reptilians come out, like 17 foot tall reptilians come out. They got black skin. They skin look like, how do you say, fish scales. They got tails, long ass tails. They're telling these humans, if you worship us, we will make you into gods. So what do you think the humans did? The humans accepted. Guess what they had the humans do? What? They had them walk into two different caves. So at first, they claimed humans, like Adam and Eve, the two people who existed, they were both like, how do you say? They had no gender. They were asexual. So basically, they could reproduce like a, how do you say, um, like a bird. So here's the crazy <laughs> shit. I don't know oh, how that shit but basically they had no genitalia until they went in the oh, cave the and the Elohim, which are the fallen angels, altered their DNA and separated them into genders. They had no gender. Oh, then man. They taught them how to talk. They taught them how to like, how do you say, dig in caves for gold and minerals and shit like that. They taught them how to fuck. And then basically when you read the book of Enoch, it says that the fallen angels taught us the same shit. They taught women makeup. Mm -hmm. They taught men how to go to war. They taught us how to make fire. It's but basically, think weapons. about it. None of that stuff oh, that is godlike. None of that stuff is godlike. They basically they they brought us down. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. That's that's what the mission. That's what they were sent to do. They were on a mission to lower our frequencies and our vibrations, so we wouldn't be able to ascend and 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 be the so, gods that we are. Where you know, was you know the creator when all this was going down? Where was uh where was the creator when all this was going? Like why let that happen? I'm not gonna lie. To me, when I read scripture, it says that he is still in a war. He is fighting a war, and we're a part of this war. We're his children, mm -hmm. as in it's like as like the Messiah was one of his children, and he favored him. We are his children. He he favors us, but at the same time. He wants us to realize what's really going on. He wants us to have that choice to understand. And if we don't want to choose to understand what's going on, then we've chosen wrong. Mm -hmm. The Antichrist has been here. I've been telling people it's that man that came in office. I ain't got nothing against black people, but this man came in office and he didn't do shit for us. And exactly. none of these motherfuckers that came after him do shit. I don't see Boy, Camille I, Harris doing shit. I don't man, see I've Trump been saying doing that shit. for the longest. I'm saying Trump did a little, but he ain't he ain't even no nigga, so I ain't gonna hold him accountable. He a white man. He ain't supposed to save niggas. If anything, this black man could have came in and did more than what he did, but he helped gay people. He he pushed that gay shit on our kids. That's why yes, you got people, look. This is why you got parents in this. How do you say day and age? Grown ass adults saying my kid want to be a boy, my kid want to be a girl when they the opposite gender and they know they know what their kid is. Like if your kid is a little boy, you don't tell your kid he a girl. You don't play along with that shit. As a parent, it's your job to raise that kid to understand who they biologically are until they are of age to make that decision. They want to be whatever. Mm -hmm. And Obama, the reason all this shit Obama, is just about to say, Obama is the reason all this shit is going. The way it's going, he mm. he led this. He did all that bullshit. And I ain't and for Trump. Just... I'm not gonna tell you I'm for Trump either. I'm not for mm. Trump. I'm not for none of the parties. No, I'm not uh, gonna lie to you. So there's this video on YouTube. Uh, it's a, when I was a teenager. 
I, I don't know why the fuck I watched it, but it's like when you go on YouTube, you, you type in. When he got caught smoking crack and he uh, was fucking a transsexual, Obama. Oh no! Oh, oh. no! I ain't know nothing about that. <laughs> yeah. No, there's this video. It's like uh, when you type in stuff to watch while you're high, and it's like this animated video, and it shows like George Bush, and then it George Bush like morphs into Obama. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it up. You want to see it? It's my favorite video. They got three of them. It's very Go symbolic. Hey, screen, screen share. I want to see that it's shit. Too, it's too symbolic. It's like it, it scared me. It scared it's me. Like that. But when you said Obama being the Antichrist type shit, it reminded me of that video because in that video, this uh, video came out in two thousand and six. It came out two years before he became president. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Yeah, I seen this video when I was in like high school, my freshman year, or no, no, before that, it was actually middle school. I, I was at, uh, I think, Awani at the time. Yeah, I had seen that video when I was in high school too, and that's what I, it stuck with me because it was so like so symbolic. This is part <laughs> one and two. This is one and even two. even the the title is is symbolic. Pet goat, goat is the the, the devil. Satan. Second and driving. Hey, pay attention to all the symbology in the background, too. It says evil in the background. Mm -hmm. Love. Evolution. The light Evolution. goes through the brain. The house on fire. You see the airplane? The dragon? Ready to pause it when that flower open up. Not yet, but uh pause it right there. Pause it right there. Kamala, when her name her name means lotus, and that's a lotus. Her name actually means lotus. Mm. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Damn, that is crazy. That's crazy as fuck. I gotta look into that more now. I'm gonna look at the video and see what's going on. Look, he's sweating. He, he looks at it and he's starting to sweat. American. I feel like the black man who was president is really gonna be safe. And I feel like Obama has jokingly told us this shit and we just took it at like, you know, ha ha ha. Like as if something just to brush off. This man in several interviews have said, I want a third term. I believe he had got a third term. I believe yeah. he was like you say, giving Joe Biden the script. And I believe his next thing he's gonna do, he's basically going to take over as like leader of the world. He is Nimrod. If I had to say anybody on this planet could be Nimrod, it has to be him. Now, the reason I say that, look, it has to be a black man. There is no other man on this planet that can unite people like a black man can unite people when shit is going to hell. Mm -hmm. There are so many black people don't care what Obama stands for, but just because he black, they will vote for him. Just like they will vote for Trump just because they say he act black. They're not really listening <laughs> to what he stand on. That's what I'm saying. Uh and I mean, even with Camille Harris, as you can see, a lot of black women gravitate towards her, not because of what she stand for, but because her skin and they feel like she's black. These people are not like us. We should not really like glorify them. We should not give them any enhancements to make them feel like they are superior in any way. Like, mm -hmm. but in all honesty, I feel like he is going to actually play the part in the end of days. I feel like they're going to all when it comes down to it, 
they're going to be like, we want Obama to be in charge. And this is because unlike Trump, unlike anybody that has been in office, he really ain't got no beef with nobody like that. None of those foreign countries. He really don't got beef with them. So he could be that person that come in and actually unite everything. I could see that. And then as far as him performing the miracles, because they say the person who does claim to be Satan, he has to make fire come down from the sky in front of everybody. It could be him. I, I swear, if this nigga drop a bomb on somebody and fire ran down, it's him. Shit. <laughs> he did it. He pressed the button. But right now, I feel like all this shit that's happening is just the exposure. Like, what you see happening with Hollywood, ain't shit gonna be the same with these motherfuckers in Hollywood no more. Nobody gonna be talking about Jay-Z, Beyonce, Diddy, or Megan Thee Stallion, Glorilla, because of what's going on, and these people that attended these parties and the accusations that have been placed against him. Only motherfuckers who is crazy gonna follow that shit that really feel like, oh, they just attacking a black man. No, no this black man sold it. his soul. This black man sold his soul. He sold children. He beat women. And he also raped and sodomized other black men. Now, he hasn't been held accountable for getting paid off a of biggie death for over 25 years. He hasn't been held accountable for the murder of Tupac. This nigga need to be dead. He killed people who actually gave a fuck about the community. And he gave birth to a fake generation of, like, how do you say, artists that basically don't care about the culture. They did exactly what he did. They took and they never gave back. And then I hear black people such as in our, like, you know, situations in life saying, well, oh, they work for that money. They shouldn't have to give back. No, you always should give back. If you grew up there, you go give back to your community. I don't give a fuck if it's like 15 schools and it's breaking your pockets. You're going to make but it how back. How come it seems like the people that do give back, let's, for example, like Nipsey or, or XXX, when like they're trying to raise the community, they die. They murder them. They murder them because here's the thing. They don't want to see black people thrive. Anybody who is trying to really like fix the black community, they don't want it to be fixed. They're trying to hold on to this power as long as possible. Like I already told black people, I know there's a lot of people that can replace us in the job industry, but if niggas just stop fucking around and doing everything with these motherfuckers, if niggas stop working at their jobs, niggas start su stop supporting their businesses. They ain't going to have shit. We buy more of their shit than they buy. The reason we buy it is because it's not ours. It's theirs. Now, that's the reason we don't have to really buy it. So we need to stop buying their shit and just fuck with each other. Exactly. I've been saying that, especially the Asian community. They, like the, the beauty supply stores, black women are their number one consumer. We mm -hmm. should be running that industry. Mm -hmm. We should be running the right. nail shops. We should be running that industry. Why are we going to another community to get them rich? Like, what is going on? <laughs> There's just so Thank much you. hate between our community. It's so much hate. Envy, all of that. That's why we can't thrive. So, everybody is so, com so manipulated and brainwashed by what, there is, what they are throwing at us, you know? So and I think that that Tyrone movie, they clone Tyrone. I think that's true. They they literally place agents in here to destroy our community. Exactly. A problem that I have with people, right? Not not you or people that don't understand the concept of actually what you know is what the truth. Because the truth get manipulated. If you believe in the devil, right, and you believe in Satan, and you believe that person or that entity is real, and it's walking amongst us, then you know that the scripture tells you no matter what it is that you see, because I'm a person that thrive in the word, and I don't believe that the word is just, you know, like word made, it was word made flesh at, at some point in time back in history, but they gave you a book in European language, and then they descripted it in a different way, and then you follow the idol. God said every man, woman, and child on this planet will be lost. So even though we still teaching and we, we got the yearning for our actual creator and our soul, we still walking around with fleshful temptations. I heard you say something about women, black women supposed to hold over those types of industries like the nails and the hair. 
but no disrespect, but you're wearing the same thing that they're doing. So you can't say that like we actually follow behind the actual rules that we want to because we fall into the temptation of the devil. Well, so the black Secondly, women should embrace more black hairstyles. Hold on, hold on. Let, let, me cook, let me cook, Captain. Let me cook, Captain. Let me cook real quick. And then on top of that, the problem with the story to me is because I actually did a lot of digging. Like I served in the military for five and a half years. I got the ability to travel to different countries and actually sit in monasteries and read from different religions. I've been to Ethiopia actually, and I explained something to y'all. This book right here is nowhere near close to a regular Ethiopian Bible. Do you not know that the actual story of Lucifer was told a different way? Lucifer wasn't even Satan. The actual Satan character is a uh, angel named Sam Yaza, and he was the angel yes. that Enoch talked about. And Enoch said, "Hey, that's the misconception." He said, and, and even God told us this shit, and people did not listen. That's the problem. People's not listening. He said, "The devil deceived the whole world, not one third of the earth." He said, "The whole world." So what he did was he said, "Hey, I'm gonna have my angels, the watchers that watched over mankind." He turned his black back to them and said, "Hey." You know what? I want to be like God, so I'm going to go down to earth and I'm going to mate with the women of the earth. And then he created Nephilim. And he fell with the one third of the angels that he talked to about doing this with. And they made a covenant. And that's why God said, you know, the punishment for them would be laid under the Euphrates River. And once it dried, which we watched you know happen me? over 50,000 times, we watched it happen 50,000 times. No man, woman, or child on this planet would know when God come. God said, be ready. When The problem with most people is this the problem. The door closed. You just waiting for him to knock on that bitch. He said, leave the door open. You stand your ass right there and be ready and stand fast when he come. Because everybody be thinking he's going to let us know and give us signs. No, he only gave us one sign. And he said what it was. He said, I'm going to come like a thief in the night. The when night people go rob good. somebody, do you know they in your crib? That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I have a lot of I have a lot of problems with the the way to like not saying the woke culture or whatever, but like I'm a spiritual person. I'm not saying I dove deep into Christianity. I'm a Christian. No, I'm a follower of the Most High. My my yes. my one of my teachers is Thoth. The other teacher is Yeshua. I don't know that Jesus character. That Jesus character was created by a European culture that wanted to enslave a certain sure. group of people. But yes. let me cook yes, on sir. top of that because that same group of people was the same ones that got in play with them to enslave their own kind. It said you'll be buried by the same sword that at some point in time you'll turn the sword to them. So then that means in my mind that God said he was a revengeful God. No, that means he shows mercy to those and give righteousness to those that got it taken away from them. He said, you reap what you sow, basically. So the same people that enslaved us for 250 years, we're going to go back and do the same thing to them. I don't think that's right morally. But then when you think about it, it's like, OK, do it make sense? Yeah, like, think about it like this, too. Basically, if you read a lot of the books in Scripture, well, like the Bible, he reading the Apocrypha, all that, right? You read all those books. It tell you from Exodus when they changed our name in Egypt from Jacob to Israel. When we were made slaves, after that point, we were slaves all throughout the whole Bible up until now. We are still slaves. But so that's think our about fault it. because we disobeyed the Most High. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. But no, at the same time, this is why he going to repay them the way he going to repay them. He like, you could have just stopped, you know, enslaving them. You didn't have to keep doing that. He gave them a choice. They chose to do that. So their punishment is eternal damnation. But when I learned the actual scripture and I heard that the problem with Lucifer, Satan, the Satan character, because he wasn't the same people. It wasn't the same person. Lucifer looked like God to the angels and that's why he was able to manipulate them and that's what the story says but the rest of the story tells you that Enoch said he saw or heard because he got the message from God that Satan saw himself Lucifer saw himself and became prideful of what he saw the biggest thing for mankind right now is we all walking around doing the same thing we looking at ourselves when then we have to worship an image of ourselves in some way and we'll always be lost because if that image ain't uphold it, we too prideful to let it fall. So we defend it. We create a, a idol being. Nobody could ever just sit there and argue with themselves. And that's how I know the difference between the outside external force working against us and then your internal force actually being what it is. If you love God, right? 
you gonna forever be tortured right now because right. this not our land this not where we from i don't believe right. any of the stories that they told us i know we never left the atmosphere of earth i don't believe none of that stuff i do believe that nothing is ever created new only god can create i know that they told us like what, what he is saying i love it how, how can i say this it's nothing new under the sun you could say aliens are real. You could say mermaids exist because they told you in the Bible the women that lay with the hey, angels hey, became sirens. I gotta cook too. I gotta cook Go after ahead. you. All right, so so I like what you're getting into. You is one hundred percent spot on. All right, there is nothing new. I can tell you how it all came to be. When you read the Book of Giants and it tell you that the two hundred angels fell down and took human women. Not only did they fuck women. Get this shit. Get this. You know how we say everything is God, everything is life, everything is alive. Like for example, these clothes I'm wearing, they came from an animal. That animal was alive at one point. This shit was alive at one point. I'm wearing it, but it's dead now. So think about this logically, right? These angels, they didn't only mate with women. In the book of Giants, it said they took 200 of every beast of the field. They even took trees. They procreated with trees. That's why in these video games, they show you like in The Legend of Zelda talking trees, Mortal Kombat trees that could eat you and shit. A lot of these mythical creatures like centaurs, minotaurs, all this shit they talk about They're in medieval. They not fake. And they trying to find a way to mix our DNA with it. That's why Noah said, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. They're trying to make superhumans now. They're trying to make super soldiers. They want these things to fight God. Wait, they wait, wait, wait. Captain, Captain, can you re-say that again? In the, in, the, in, the, in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. Oh, of Noah, my. So shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Man? You better talk to these folks. But look, here's some alarming information. Giants, the Nephilim that died in the flood, they became disembodied spirits, which were known as demons. But mm -hmm. there's another way demons manifest too. Demons can manifest through human beings who yeah. have been possessed. Yeah. Now look, demons can manifest through food, bad energy, and all types of shit. So here's another thing you got to know. A lot of the food that we eat ever since 2006, it has been genetically modified. They got sued for using GMO on the back of food labels because parents didn't like that shit. So you know what they did to hide that? They switched it to bioengineered. Now when you look in Walmart, Winco, and any other grocery store and you buy meat and processed food, this shit is bioengineered. Now what that wait, means? No, it's not even. Wait, wait, wait. It's deeper than that, Captain. Don't don't get in the subsurface level part wait, of it. It's wait, wait, deeper wait, than that. It's no, actual no, no, spiritual. No, no, no. It's more it, spiritual. I'm finna go in with this. Look, <laughs> not only that, that means they could take the protein right from something that is toxic that is states in Leviticus, right? Like bottom feeders, like shrimp, scorpion, Man, spiders. Awesome, bro. They could take this. They could inject it within your kids' snacks. They could inject it in the cereal you eat. You're eating worm shit now. You're eating roach shit now. You're eating all this stuff they inject in the food and make it look nice. Now, here's what makes this shit even worse. When you ingest this shit, demons come from parasites. Parasites, it's a study that has been done on parasites that manifest in your body through food you eat, right? And they take over your self conscious and they control your thoughts. Sounds like so is a this demon. like what they do in movies when, when they're know? talking about like the like, like the the parasite taking over the host, like venom or some yeah. shit like that? Correct, correct, correct. Basically, correct. The parasite take you over. It's basically manipulating your thoughts in the way you would act, in the way you would like you know perceive yourself and how you look at people. And if you look at a look at a parasite under a microscope, it looks like a demon. They look evil. Those things look evil. I swear to God. Yes, yes Big E, yes. It's also in the toothpaste. It's fluoride oh, is used to calcify the third the pineal gland. The pineal gland is the oh, same don't get place. Me started on water. Okay, wait. Okay, but pass? okay, listen, guys. All right, we're saying all this stuff, right? But I want to lead people in the right direction, okay, on what they can do to help themselves. So what books do you guys suggest? When Dr. Sebi had tried to tell the world, right? Yeah, Dr. Sebi, y'all supposed to say study him. 
when Dr. Sebi tried to talk to the world about a certain particular thing, so did Nipsey. Nipsey actually went over and said, hey, I'm going to do work with you, and then I'm going to come back and bring it to my community. L.A. Uh, was considered... Told, uh, look, Dr. Sebi gave us the cure for everything. He said everything... He told us there was a cure for cancer. cancer. He told us, Think about told this. us there was a cure for when everything. You get, look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. When you Google symptoms of HIV, what do you get? It says it starts off like a common cold. That's mucus. That's congestion. If that's what that is, then that's what HIV and cancer is. It's mucus in your bloodstream, though. It's mucus in your veins. Do you know how you get mucus in your veins and shit like that? So let me explain. When you eat something toxic, you know how you fall and scrape your arm, right? And your arm get pus and shit like that on it, right? And your arm start, you know, get red and it's all sore. Basically, when you eat food that's toxic to your body, it does the same thing to your insides. It this makes everything you that Dr. Sebi it ever wrote. It makes you sore, and then pus starts to come out and mix with your blood. And when pus mixes with the blood, it forms and it creates this dark mucus. When this dark mucus breaks down and it gets in your bloodstream, then you get HIV and cancer. It's mucus. You, know, he, you get rid of all that. He's not, he not capping because think about it like this. I teach people the simpler way so that... When you're not as adjusted to the world as we are in a certain point, and I'm not saying anybody is lesser by saying that, but some people ain't been accustomed to the knowledge, and it's okay. But think about this, uh, Narelle, because I'll talk to you because you're saying that you're not sure if it's accurate or not. When you go eat something, you're not supposed to be tired. God always told you from the beginning, when you Thank eat you. things of the land, it will give you nourishment. It will make you better. It will make you feel things. You will have energy. Why the fuck now when you eat, you get tired? Why the fuck now when you eat, you got the itis? Think about this. These people, these people slaughter that animals that they feed Look. to you, right? And you're taking on that hormone from that dying animal. These are living beings. You said Thank it earlier, you. Captain. He these are living it. beings. You. And you. when you Rick kill those living beings, shit. you host their Thank energy. You. Now you, when you feel, you you probably been an ate a burger and you done got tired. No. That fucking animal that you just ate was depressed. It was sad because they know it was going to slaughter. And now you taking on this energy. We're not supposed to. We're not even Man, carnivores. Not for, not I mean, not that. that God gave us. God actually actually gave us a description on how we supposed to eat. Right. Go like, do your even, research on that treaty in Antarctica. There, there's a whole there's a whole like um, compound with. They got to be created. Okay, they hold on, hold on, box two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He brought up Antarctica, and that's like one of the main things that I be talking about on my YouTube. What about Antarctica? Antarctica got South a Coast. compound, and there's a compound with over, I forgot how many of them, but every living organism, seed, like plant, fruit, vegetable, he protein, not lying. is he there. He's not lying. They hold it there just in case the world have to reset so they can replant everything. 